What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I'll be your host. Entry requirements. And uh, there's where there are two new cards that were, that were shown today. I think there were only two. There's probably more than two. But I'm going to show the two that I saw. Sphinx of Aaron Forsythe. <coughs> a, cl <clears throat> a classic. A classic. All right, so we got 4-4 four, four for 4. It's a Sphinx. It's a rare. You may reveal this card from your opening hand if you do scry 3 at the beginning of your first upkeep. That seems pretty good. Like, I would mulligan significantly less if I had this card. Like, seven... I'd be like, hmm, seven cards? Seven, uh... Seven cards, one land? Sure. I'll keep it. And then I'll keep all of the lands on the top. I mean, once it's resolved, it's just a 4-4 flyer with that lets you scry once a turn, but... Um... You know, as a 4-4... This, this ability is just really good. <coughs> and, like, as a finisher in a control deck, like... I don't know, it's pretty good. I'm, I'm impressed. I think it's alright. And then we got this guy. I guess I could just close this so that the, the, the resolution stays. The, the dimensions. Deputy of Detention. This is literally just Detention Sphere. I'll, I'm, I'm saying this... I'm not saying this is a negative, <clears throat> a negative thing. I'm just saying it's a clarify. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I apologize. Not ideal. Snoozlemoo, thank you so much for the reset. I really appreciate it. So we have Deputy Detention for three mana. Same cost as Detention Sphere. You get a 1-3. When it enters the battlefield, exile a non-land permanent and opponent controls, and all other non-land permanents that player controls with the same name as that permanent until Deputy of Detention leaves the battlefield. So it's literally just a 1-3 Detention Sphere. So it's basically... Um, uh, it's basically Fiend Hunter for, for Oblivion Ring, right? Or Journey to Nowhere, you know, whatever. So... So I will close this out now, and I will jump in this queue. Oh, I have one stipulation. I have one more. Oh, yeah, a couple more. I have a couple more. A couple I'm not ready for yet. But, um... Yeah, one of them is, uh... <clears throat> let me actually do do the thing. Stipulation we must take cards that steal from the opponent. Whether it be their turn, their creatures, and sorcerer artifacts, etc. Exceptions for power and mana fixing. Alright, so I will just add this. I'm I don't know what we're leaning towards here. This pack is not ideal, but if we're trying to steal their things. I don't know. It might be just Jace. Like, we're going to be blue, right? Blue is going to be one of our colors. Black is probably going to be one of our colors. I'm going to lean towards Jace here. <clears throat> Instance or C... <clears throat> so, R C E R I E S. Sorceries. Is that how you spell it? I think so. Artifacts, etc. Exceptions for power or mana fixing. When it comes, it makes sense to make a pick that helps the deck greatly over the stipulation. Feel free to do so within reason. Also, it would be cool if you can deliver the kill shot. Yeah, that's actually... Okay, cool. So, Chad T. What do we got here? Library Alexandria gets passed to us. Yep, that's pretty good. All right, sorry about the delay here, guys. I'm just actually trying to write this stip out. Alright, so add com stip. Okay, <clears throat> so must take cards that steal from the opponent, whether that be their turn, or their creatures, their instants or sorceries, artifacts, etc. Exceptions for power or mana fixing when it makes sense to make a pick that helps the deck greatly over stipulation, feel free to do so within reason. Also could be cool if we deliver the kill shot with a stolen creature or walker. Okay. Um by steal it means take and make our own, not theirs. So I'm just going to take library here. And Michael showed up six minutes late because he can't wake up before 2 p.m. Good times, as always. All right. So Necromancy steals their thing. Hmm. Um. Hmm. 
It is the birthday boy. That is correct. Oh, my God. Birthday boy getting that birthday sleep. Happy birthday, Mike. Do you have a good birthday dinner last night, Mike? No comment. I'm going to take necromancy. Image lets us take a ver... No, it doesn't, because you're not stealing it. Like, if I make a co if I go to your house and make a copy of your television and take your and take the copy, I'm not... St I haven't stolen anything. You know what I mean? Like, let's, uh... You didn't like the opposition there? It doesn't steal anything. We're doing a stipulation. Oh. You would know this if you arrived seven minutes ago on time. Well, Felipe is also in the bathroom, so that prevented me for a little while. Really? Because I bet if you woke up earlier than 1.55... Maybe. You might have been able Maybe. to get in there. Anyway... The point is... We're stealing stuff. We're stealing stuff. Okay. I don't know what to take. None of these things steal anything. Mystic Confluence? That's a good card. You wouldn't download a card. Oh, I remember those memes. You remember those memes where, like, they were trying to dissuade you from downloading music online? So oh, yeah. Like, you wouldn't download a car, would you? Yeah. And in my mind, I'm like, yeah, I would. That sounds amazing. <laughs> Wait, does Leovold steal things? No. I mean, he steals your opponent's drawing cards. That is, you steal their freedom, right? I don't know what to take. I'm just gonna take this because it's on it's on brand. Where are all my steely cards? No treacheries, no control magics. Did you? Is your mic on? Okay, good. Yeah, all I right. think so. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Let's hold on. Sign up. What? Yeah, we're good. Okay. You got a little. Got a little. We can loot her. <coughs> Necromancy is close to a a steely card, so we can loot into the things that we want. I don't think it's gifts. I don't think it's Chopper. Oh, Ancient Tomb's actually probably fine, right? Yeah, that's a good one. We got a library. How much colorless mana do we need? I don't know. All of it, I guess. <clears throat> hey, look, Armageddon, we steal all the lands. <laughs> yeah, that's basically how that works. We could take... Uh... That steals your guys. It does, but we don't get to use it, you know what I mean? Right. Like, this steals it the same as, like, a Necrotal steals it. <laughs> <clears throat> That's probably one of these two. Knight of Sticks, thanks so much for the resub. Happy second day of 2019. Happy Mike birthday as well. If you guys sub, make sure you include a happy birthday message to Mike today. I just want to make sure his birthday is really special. So now my birthday was yesterday and today? I don't know when your birthday is, man. I'm I just trying to wish you a happy birthday. Titan. It's a little more powerful. Hmm. All right. All right. Oh, Scarab God. That steals things. That does steal things. All right. So just flip it to your click. Yeah, but I think if I'm taking a five mana guy that steals things, it's probably going to be Scabble, Scabble, Scrabble God. Scabble, Scabble, Scrabble God. That's what I said. Strip mine? Mmm. Steals your land. It doesn't steal. Destroying is not stealing. <laughs> wow, you've had a birthday every day this year so far. Yeah, so far. That's yeah. really impressive, man. I think it's just Night's Whisper, right? Uh. I mean, we can take any of these other cards, right? I kind of like strip mine, but... Really? We have a lot of colorless Three mana, colorless so, yeah, manas? That's probably too much. I just want to draw some cards. Oh, Necrotal. Kozilek. <clears throat> when you attack, he steals their permanents. He attack and he protect. Yeah. Did you know that? Uh, it's probably just Necrotal, right? Yeah. Oh, what if what if we discard this somehow and then we scarab got it immediately? I don't know. You can take Necrotal, I guess. This resub is so late. I was worried my streak was in jeopardy. Brickbeard, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Uh, I'll just take Blooming Marsh in case we end up in the green persuasion. Don't care about you. I'll take Languish. Oh, Inquisition. All right, all right. It's playable. Uh, Smuggler's Copter is good if we're looting. What happened to little Lutzo Toots? What did I take over Looty Boy? No, all our picks are good. Oh, I think I took Ancient Tomb. Yeah, I think so. He's hacking, he's whacking, he's smashing that. But wait, hacking, he's whacking. Chopping that meat, that's what it is. Oh, uh, Balance is not that bad, but I'm not in white, so I'm not going to take... I think Balance is just hard to set up. I think Balance is an incredibly strong card. It is, there's no question about it, but it's just very hard to set up in a, in a limited deck. Oh, you happen to have three creatures and I don't have any? All right, oh, cool. I'll use balance. I don't think we're ever playing copter in this deck. But... Wow. I don't think we're ever going to have enough creatures. You don't even know, though. You don't even know. There's still two cards. Two packs. 
There's still two cars. Happy birthday, Mike. Just finished watching your last video on here. Wow, good for you, buddy. Hey, you all. You hate all of us? Why? Because we want you to have a great birthday? Yeah, that's exactly why. That's really... Vindigay is actually kind of nice pick up there. You're being, real, you're being a real dick. Yeah. You're being a real birthday dick. You know that? It's your special day and you're supposed to be happy. <clears throat> Unfortunately... I had to read balance like four times before. I, yeah, it's really hard. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice little steely reward. Oh, that's nice. Nailed it. It is pretty nice. It's also on color. On color Moxerino. That's how you do it here. Hopefully it's demonic tutor tables. In your, in your wildest dreams. <laughs> that's a Taylor Swift song. So, Salty, thank you so much, buddy. Really, since it's Mike's birthday, will there be birthday tacos? Um. Oh, and one birthday bit from Kerwit. One birthday hate bug. <laughs> oh, good times. Uh, counterspell steals their spell. It doesn't steal it because we don't get it. Stealing it implies really like that you that. get it. <laughs> you guys are confusing removing and stealing. It's the difference between me going to your house and destroying your TV and then taking your TV so I can use it for myself. But if you destroy my TV, you essentially took it because I can't use it anymore. But I didn't steal it. I guess. Oh my god. I'm gonna take the Demir Signet. Over the counter spell? Yeah, I don't want double blue here. I, I like the Signet because it's on color. Like, on color Signet in this deck is really good. We can go turn one, Ancient Tomb, little Demir Signet, and then they basically lose. I don't care about a stupid counter spell. I already got Mystic Confluence. What more do I need? Counter spell? Nah, bro. <clears throat> he's hacking, he's whacking, he's chopping, <laughs> chopping that mic. Oh, this steals their turn. It does actually steal their turn. This steals their life. It doesn't steal it, it just destroys it. We don't get to take their life. It doesn't have lifelink. Lifelink, however, steals life, so... Yeah, we're going to take Emrakul because it steals their turn. I would like that Jace, but... You know, what are you going to do? He's hacking, he's whacking. Mike's chopping that meat. It's true. That's what he does on his birthday. He chops the meat. I often chop the meat. Thank you. YNG Malm. I don't know how to say that. Ing Malm? Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. You're a fine young boy. For, I appreciate it. Shut up and take the money. <clears throat> oh, one back to back. Another. Oh, two back to back birthday bucks. Wow. Man, God, Mike is your up so fast because of these birthday bucks. Every time you guys send a birthday buck, Mike ages one one year. Oh my god, three? No, that's two. That's the second one. Okay. Okay, we're good. Huh. Taxing Pro steals their information. Swinny boy, my sub and Mike has the same birthday. Happy birthday, Mike. <laughs> wow. Fantastic. What did you say? The Taxing Pro steals their information. I knew you were going to say that. Someone else said that. You guys are on the same page. I think I just want Mana Confluence, though. We're only two colors, man. Well, that seems a little... Double blue, double double blue, double black are so prominent, though, man. Don't be a little baby. Also, it lets us splash something else if we if we want. I'm taking it. Like Stop that being Vindicate? Little... Stop being a little Mitch. <clears throat> That's my impression of Mike. Wow. Oh, I like if they if they target the if we if we reanimate Scarab God and then they target it, we just get it back anyway. <laughs> you know what? For you people, I'm gonna take Sheldock Isle. And we're gonna see if it's any good. You ready? Here we go. We're gonna do it as a little as a little as a little experiment. A little Sheldock experiment. <laughs> Basically dying. He's hacking and he's whacking. What else is he doing? chopping the meat oh that's right that's right he was chopping it wasn't he he was chopping that meat mannequin steals from, yeah but not their grave it doesn't steal it steals from our grave not their grave necromancy can steal from their grave which is important it's a it's an important distinction oh i like flooded strand but we don't have a dual land oh thief of sanity thief of sanity is actual perfect 
He does steal from them. It steals everything. Shut up and take my money. Okay, take it easy. Oh, I'll see you down in one shot. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's hilarious. That's actually hilarious. <laughs> Hostage taker steals everything. All right, perfect. Perfect. All right, this is coming together right now. Oh, is this a recurring nightmare deck? <clears throat> Seven creatures. I don't nah. hate it. It's pretty. No, so. It's strong. Come on, don't be a little baby. Could be a Riffling Cloudscape deck. Oh, happy birthday, Mike. Hey, happy birthday, buddy. A recurring nightmare does steal your sleep. That's true. I think it's one of these. One, this, this, or this. I'm leaning towards this, but I think it's probably Riffling Cloudscape. I definitely take Skate here. All right, we'll take Skate. Oh, Pestermite. That doesn't do anything. Oh, Course of Portal's good. I like Course of Portal a lot. Could be Godless Shrine. We have Mana Confluence, so it lets us play Vindicate if we wanted to. Yeah. Is that better than Course of Portal? Maybe. Whatever. May or be. Oh, I like a Damnation. Yeah, that's a nice pickup for us. Oh, wow, the Stream Nemesis came back? Okay. What? Yeah, sure, deal. All right, I'll take this Liliana. I don't know if we're going to play it or not. Oh, wow. Tundra and Makeshift Mannequin? Tundra's great for the White Splash as well. All right, I'll take a Tundra. Sure. That is a unreasonably late Tundra. And if we can get, like, a Marsh Flats or a Polluted Delta, I would be real thrilled. This is actually a great, just a great splash. It kills anything. Name name one permanent. Never mind, you'll do it. It's an easy one to do. say, it was snap one off right now. Yeah, I'll be like, this is the guy in your deck. All right, dang it. <clears throat> dang it. Chopping that meat. Mike steals our ice. That's true. Mm -hmm. I'm a nice thief. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty good. Pretty, pretty also Polluted Delta. God, and Jace the Mind Sculptor. What a pack. What an absolute pack. Yeah, Soul Ring's filthy busted. Mike steals my ice and he'll steal yours too. Opens his mouth and then he shoots it through. <laughs> yeah, it's soaring. What if one of these comes back? That's all I want. God, I really wanted that Polluted Delta because it gets us Tundra and it gets us Godless Shrine. It might come back. It won't. Oh, him to Torak and Baleful Strix? And an Upheaval. And an upheaval? I don't know for an upheaval deck. I don't know, man. We got Soul Ring, Mox, Demir Signet. Ancient Tomb. Yeah. <sighs> Unfortunately, neither of these are cast off of Ancient Tomb or Soul Ring. True. Him doesn't steal cards. It literally removes them. To steal implies that you get the thing that you took. How, I, this is weird that I have to explain this this many times. <laughs> it's... <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <clears throat> oh, 100th birthday. Go buy your own ice bits. Nice. Well done, buddy. Wow. Good for you. No, this Emrakul does not shuffle. This is the new Emrakul. They don't do they don't do that anymore. It's one of these two. It's got to be this, right? I guess. Yeah, all right. You ever cast him to Torok? It's busted. Oh, Watery Grave? There's also Marsh Flats. Oh, that's even better. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's a black and a, a, bl a white and a blue. Yeah, that's pretty good. Nothing steals anything in this pack, right? Just to be no. sure. Yeah, I'll take this. I would like the Fatal Push or the Bitter Blossom, but... Uh, you don't steal anything. You're alright. Muldrifter's good. I also make Zoom. Although we don't have any... Nah, we're not like a reanimator deck. Yeah. Like, we just have a necromancy because it's cool and it seals the thing. This is not a... So this is not... Drifter or... Lingering, is content. Lingering Soul is also an option. Yeah. 
Might just be Mole Drifter. Yeah, direfully Daredevil steals, but we're not actually. Hmm. I do like lingering souls. Thank you. <clears throat> Neon Tokyo Rain, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Six months. It's your boy. It's either this or this. I'm pretty sure it's either this or this. I love Mold Drifter. I like Mold Drifter because we have Scarab, Scarab God. I think that's what's... That just ain't right. There's a late channel. Y'all got no respect. I mean, nothing in this pack is really playable for us. I think we're just taking the Nighthawk. Which is also fine with the Scarab God. Just got a 4-4 back. We could play Sun Titan. I don't think we're that... Mm, Sun Titan getting back Thief of Sanity or True Nemesis or Necromancy is really good. <clears throat> Double white, though. Well, we got four white sources. Yeah, we're not going to be double whiting. We'll just take Vampire Nighthawk. Oh, Scrubland. Wow. Mind Slaver takes their turn, though. Mind Slaver takes their turn. Yep, we're definitely taking Mind Slaver. That's, that's pretty good. Um... <laughs> Double white. I don't want gush. Even more birthday biddies for Mike. Man. God. Blessed. Hashtag blessed. Is it just Spellqueller? I don't think it's Caracas. I don't think it's Ostone. It's not Garrick. Ostone doesn't steal anything. I don't think you guys know how theft works. Eh, it's probably just days, right? Um, the the I guess buggies. Bug bus would be pretty good here too. Bug 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 bug. You don't like days and people. I want a days. Buggies, buggies. It doesn't steal counters. It removes them. Oh God. If you got the counters, if it, if it put the counters from their creature to your creature, it would be stealing. That's If you're just taking something and not getting it yourself, it's not stealing. Oh my god, I'm cringing. Uh, did I like any of these spoilers? I went over two of them. And I think they were both alright. He steals their one mana. Nope, still doesn't. All right. Was it the card <laughs> Sassafras and Silly Sass? Yeah, Sass. That was those are two different cards. Right. One was Sassafras and one was Silly 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 Frass. Hypnotic Specter. Mm. Thirst for knowledge. Is thirst for knowledge. Probably just Hypnotic Spectre. Sure. Sure. We could also take Gilded Lotus and probably play it on like turn two. We can go turn one Ancient Tomb, Mox, Soul Ring, turn two Gilded Lotus, and then just win the game. Yeah, whatever. I don't care about it now. Oh, uh, okay. Mother Runes, I guess. What happened? What just happened? 55, but it steals their hopes and dreams. Yes, but I don't get those hopes and dreams. I like Spell Pierce. I like Spell Pierce. What are we cutting? Spell Queller? Oh. 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 Oh, could be Vraska's Contempt too, actually. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, let's take that. Let's cut Spell Queller. Oh my God! Especially weird considering we've seen two Emrakul or two big, big fatty fats. You're two big fatty fats. Wow! Got him. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, so we're cutting two cards. Probably Inquisition. Over Spell Pierce? I like Spell Pierce. Spell Pierce counters like Planeswalkers, brah. Sometimes. I mean, unless they're playing their five mana Planeswalker on turn seven. Uh, probably cut Puppeteer Click, I guess. But he steal. It's true. <clears throat> he also protect. Wow, I like that you associated canned laughter with Big Bang Theory, even though it's like literally. It, it probably originated 30 years prior in every single sitcom that was ever on the air, ever. God, it makes me really sad that Big Bang Theory is the uh, default association with, with a, a, a live studio audience. You seem to be somewhat of a chair expert. I'm looking for a comfortable chair for two to four hour usage at a time for around 200. Ooh. I'm not. I'm not actually a, that much of a chair expert. I just. I just know Herman Miller's because they're really nice. Ever spell pierce a channel and have your opponent concede? That's fun. That does sound like fun. I'm having a good time. Okay, so we're only have, we're splashing for one white card, and we have one, two, three, four <clears throat> white. I think sources. we could actually get away with sixteen lands considering soaring. Are you like Louis Armstrong with your head there? Uh, Louis Arm? Do you mean do you mean Stevie Wonder? Maybe. Louis Armstrong. <laughs> oh my God! Did you get your uh, did you did you get your black musicians confused? Maybe. Okay. Can I donate for a Mike birthday stip where you guys make picks based on Mike's chonk scale? Yeah, we can definitely do that. That sounds hilarious, actually. Please do that. All the way till April, but, uh, you know. Wait, why? Because that's when my actual birthday is. No, it's not. Why do you keep telling people that? <sighs> we also have a Demir Signet as well. I'm pretty sure Seinfeld is the epitome of all sitcoms, but... We can agree to disagree, I'm sure. I cut one card. Might just be Vampire Nighthawk. I think that's fine. Let's add all these lands. Not a single planes is getting played here. Nope. So for blue, we have one, two, three, four, five, nine. Okay, that's good. 100 married with children bits. Wow, that's aggressive. Nine blue sources. We have four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. Done. Oh, thanks, David. Watching with my dad. Can you steal a hello to him? Hello, dad. Hello, authentic David's dad. Hope you guys are uh, having a good having a good Mike's birthday. Having a good Mike's birthday. Having a good Mike's birthday. That is loud. Let's lower that. I will play first. Are you ready to play first? No. Oh, we did it, boys. Did we do it? I don't know. It's so uh, good. You need to land pretty bad. I, I snapped it off. I don't know what you're saying right now. <clears throat> if we hit a blue, we can play this. If we hit a black, we can play this. And then ideally hit more lands after that. Uh, I had the Larry David, the, the Curb Your Enthusiasm theme on the soundboard. And then I got and then I got copywritten for it. And that was fun. Let's draw Mox so we can actually um, play True Name Nemesis here. Well, that's that's good too. That was actually great. That, that worked out really well. See how good this hand is? And you were like, oh, I don't know if you keep this hand. This is good, good, good hand. This is good. If we didn't draw land there, we we're totally screwed. Yeah, but we did because I knew it. <laughs> My office had to move, so I had to switch from Popeyes to Lee's for. I've never heard of Lee's. You ever heard of Lee's? Nope. 
<clears throat> they just repeal my soul ring? Yep. Well, that's Desperate something. Times. I, that's something, I guess. They know it pays for itself, right? I think you just slam that guy. Well, I'm going to play the soul ring first. Still had enough for, for days. <clears throat> Good times. Good times. Everything is all right. Uptight. Out of sight. Maybe. Every oh, God. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I hope they don't have a reanimate spell this turn so we can necromancy whatever they put in their trash can. Oh, they just put three lands in there. That's fascinating. Oh, that's nice. Oh, this is good. We're doing well for ourselves here. So we can almost play Mind Slaver, but right now we get to play Necromancy at instant speed. If they, like, drop a Gristlebrand and try to exhume it, we can just Necromancy it. <clears throat> like, we don't get to keep it, but, I mean, it, it prevents them from ever having it. I mean, or we can just spell pierce it. Are you Louis Armstrong? God, man. <laughs> that ain't right, man. Oh, Willamog, the infinite... Euro. Oh, they're going to do some shenanigans. You ready for this? Here we go. Here we go. Nah, y'all know me. Same old G. When does this... It's, it's at the end of the next end step or at the end of your next end step? Uh, you may cast this at a flash. You cast anything you can control the turn. If you don't at the beginning of the next cleanup step. Dang. I really want to be able to attack with it. Remember that time you didn't like Spell Pierce? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Me too. There you go. See you later, Graveyard. Give me a land. Cast it. Gonna bounce your island, I suppose? Oh, that's actually what we wanted, yeah. So now we can play... Um, one, two, three. Hypnotic Spectre and still keep up Necromancy. <clears throat> Get him. I'm so scared I have no idea how to play it. I don't know why I drafted Storm. <laughs> Can someone help me? Take that damage. Playing Storm is like me driving a Ferrari. Watch me crash this really fast. <laughs> um, it sure looks good while it's doing it. Do you wear dad jeans when you were scolding Michael? No, I just wear regular jeans. Right now I have gym shorts on though, so... I hope that doesn't ruin the illusion for you guys. I wonder what they got. I wanna be like, what did you get? Look, they get to draw the card that they got. God dang. What are my biscuits? Well, it's time to be alive. What about MeUndies? You guys can go to MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. Oh, we're going to actually reanimate this dude in response to them reanimating it? No, we're and, not because we don't have a black up. Yes, oh, we, yeah, do. we do. We have an Urborg. And then we're going to draw seven. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> mm, don't mind if I do. This also lets us puppeteer click it on our turn. <laughs> Oh, man, we have a good time. 
We could have just let them take eight as well, right? Okay, they're done. I mean, if they just took eight and then we attacked with True Name Nemesis, they also die, right? I like Inquisition here. They got a lot of cards that Inquisition would hit. Would hit. Probably don't like Hypnotic Spectre. I really don't want them discarding things. For That's random, though. Puppeteer Click seems great. Scarab God seems great. Necrotal's probably pretty bad, right? Yeah. But yeah. Where's the what art? <laughs> we have a good time. Uh, oh, wait, we do have black. Yeah, this hand's good. great. We're keeping this for sure. Would you play a broken but telegraph mono black storm deck? In I have no idea what that even means. Um... <clears throat> We're definitely playing this. I'm not sure if we go to Mere Signet or Inquisition turn one. Probably just probably just a mere signet. Look at all these broken things I'm doing. I have so much mana you can't even touch me. Oh wow. Oh, well. I'm just going to take two for this. You're mad, man. I'm a maniac. This guy. Mike, what's your favorite part about today being your birthday? Probably my slow descent into madness. That is, that's my favorite part of it as well. Oh, they discarded a Sphinx of the Steel Wind. Well, that's, that's scary. I'll just take it. Let's see what we hit here. A repeal. Let's see what we, let's see what we can get with this guy. Literally nothing. So we should have taken the repeal and then hit this first. That was pretty bad. Hostage Taker, Gristlebrand, Liliana. All right. Well, we done messed up. Happy Slow Descent into Madness, Mike. Now that I can get behind. We're all very proud of you. I like that they have this gristle brand in their hand. Exhum. Okay. I'll just take it. But then they just take ours. Ugh. That's annoying. Depends. We might get a hit hit their uh, hostage taker with the hippie. Oh, that's true. That'd be good. Test rack. Thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, hostage taker, one time. Yes! Wow. <laughs> I mean, it's 33% chance. They had three Clutch. cards. Because now they're two mana away from the, the, the Liliana, so. Oh, baby. Arcane Artisan, sure. Oh, that's pretty. That's something right there. Ancient Tomb! Oh my god, that's exactly what we wanted. Wow. It's pretty good. Not even going to wait to cast that guy. And Gristlebrand down. 
Oh, man. Ooh. Hostage taker into hit their hostage taker. No, they didn't even have, they didn't hit a fourth land though either. So it's not like they would have cast it, but still, like we had a window there. So and then we get, and then we get the the literal land that lets us cast this right now. What a time to be alive! So in the first round, we've managed to steal their Sphinx of the Steel Wind, and then we also managed to steal their Gristlebrand for a win. No, that's not gonna do it. So they make a rat becomes a 2-2. We know they have Liliana and one other card. If you want to double block the hostage taker and trade with a rat, that's fine. She did anyway. Oh, you drew... Oh, you just make rat. Yeah, I gotcha. Okay, so that's gone. So now you have no cards in hand. That's pretty good. Well, he has one card in hand and he's about to draw three. Well, we have a Hypnotic Spectre. That means they have no oh, cards sure. in hand. And what was it? Kozilek. Oh, that's great, because now their search doesn't flip. Wow, that's pretty cool. Jeez. Cheddar cheese. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's play Island. Six. Grave Titan. I mean, I think the only thing we're afraid of here is like a languish. No, not, not like a dam damnation. Yeah, didn't really need to play the Grave Titan, but... Or did I? I mean, they get to look at... They get to look at one card, put it in the graveyard, so it's two cards, then three cards from this. So, they get five cards. That's one of them. <sighs> Let's see if one of your four cards is a Damnation. I don't know why you'd bring in Damnation in this matchup anyway. Toxic Deluge kills you. Languish doesn't do it. Chad Bradbury with the 53 months in a row. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Jeez. And win the game. 53 months. 58 months is actually insane. What is that? That's like almost five years. Happy Mike Day, Birth. Happy Mike Day, Birth. Do you have your eyelid extensions on today? Mm-hmm. I can tell they look longer. I think our deck's pretty sweet. You can tell because we just won. That's how you know you got a sweet deck. Not necessarily. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Your deck can be sweet without winning. But it could also be not sweet and win. So, Birthday Mike Hap Day. Happy birthday, Michael. What are you looking oh, at? Oh, wow. What? That's pulled us out pretty far. Well, that's not the thing. That's a little cap that's over it. Don't, don't worry oh, about that. Okay. It's fine. All right. That would be insane. Because otherwise, like, how long, how far into the wall would it actually have gone, you know? Oh, yeah. Like, if this is the cab and it's, like, this far out, like, it, this this much would be out of the wall. That would be ridiculous. Oh, it's Mirth Day. Happy Mirth Day. <sighs> oh, my God. Yeah, I gotta go, guys. I can't, I can't be here any longer. Because he's got birthday plans, that's why. Time for your birthday, squirts. That's, that sounds like your birthday diarrhea. Oh, I got the birthday squirts. I will play first. I believe I will keep this hand. It's not exciting. A hundred birthday bits. God, you're such a... You're so loved, buddy. So I'm glad loved. you could profit off of my non-birthday. So <laughs> <laughs> Stop telling people it's not your birthday. That's just weird. It's sad that we can get a blue-white land or a white-black land, but we can't get a blue-black land because we had to pass the water grave for the marsh flats. Mike, were there any adverse effects for the sour squirts? No, it went away after. Adverse effects for the sour squirts. A little I'm gonna, while. I'm going to play marsh flats or uh, swamp here because if we draw Hypnotic Spectre, I want to be able to cast that. If we draw True Name Nemesis, I want to be able to cast that. So, Ideally, we just draw Thief of Sanity and then we can just... We just drill land. That's not very exciting. We'll get a Godless Shrine, and then we can go with Tundra, and then we got a bunch of colors. When you took a Duke, when you took a Duke, did, were your were your poops uh, bright colors? I wish. Dang. There's no justice in the world, Michael.
There was a new Dove and Bond that was spoiled. Oh, that was a good hit. I like that. I like that. All my all my things require them to have things. Three mana Dovin Bond, huh? Well, that's nothing can go wrong with that. Oh, John with the with the hit. Oh, I see what you're doing here. Um, well, that is unfortunate. Oh, need another black, huh? Okay. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Hold on one second. Dove and Bon uh, is a three mana for three. Until the end of turn, whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, put a loyalty counter on it. So you plus one, you attack with a guy, he gets another plus one, so it goes to five. Negative one, create a one one Thopter artifact with flying, you gain a life. Sure. I mean, Tezzeret's already doing that. I guess you can negative one plus Tezzeret and it makes you closer to Tezzeret's medium. Look at the top ten cards of your library. Put three of them into your hand and the rest in the bottom of your library in a random order. Why am I not super impressed with that? Well, we're just going to have to Vraska's Contempt this because we're not going to have blue up to be able to kill it. So, whatever. I mean, it almost seems like the old Dovin Bond because, like, his first ability is only setting you up for the third ability, but it's not even doing it that efficiently. I don't know, man. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, put oh, so if it's like three creatures, you get to. You get to put three loyalty? Alright, that's actually a little bit different. And his last one is actually kind of like a... Uh, it's kind of like a dig through time. So they just played Time Walk to play Thunder Mile Hellkite? It does appear so. So... Black, black, and then... Yeah, we have enough. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can also keep up Spell Pierce, which is pretty nice. Okay. Oh, wow! Mystic Confluence and Inferno Titan. Yep, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <coughs> I want you to pay four mana. Yeah, that's fine for a removal spell. Oh, I did see the new Sphinx's Red Mystic Snake. I think it's just way too expensive. Like, it's just not, I don't know. Sphinx Red Mystic Snake? Yeah, I'll show you. Hydroid Crassus. Oh, wow. That's really sad because we don't have, they hit land and thing. All right, well, what can you do? That is an interesting card. Yeah, so the card is X blue green for a zero zero. When you cast a spell, you gain half of X life and draw half X cards round down. So for three mana, like so as a five, as a five mana card, as a three, three, you get a three, three flying trampler for five that draws you one and gains you one. Eh, I mean, where you start getting into a reasonable cost is for six mana, and it's a four four. It's a four four flyer for six that draws you two and gains you two, and that's just kind of like a. It's almost like just a mold drifter. I don't know. It's just like 
it just costs a lot of mana, right? So, like for 12 mana, you're going to draw 5, gain 5. So, they have one card in hand. We just have to deal with this idiot. Well, that's a good start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that's really sad. All right, well, we'll get there eventually. Or we'll die. Those are our options. Well, we're going to block here so we don't take anything. Yeah, we're definitely blocking because having Muldrifter in the graveyard is also very good just because we get to... Uh, we have Necromancy, we have Scarab God. Emerson Klein, thanks so much for the resub. I'm going to call it a resub, because even though it doesn't say it was a resub, I know it's a resub. Thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate it. Okay. Except. Okay. Okay, man. Uh, one, two, three, four... Let's vindicate you. Bop, 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 ba-da-dum, bop, bop, All right. This doesn't really, we have one card in hand, so it doesn't really do a ton, but it's still, it's still Mind Slaver. The card is counterable. The, the the drawing and the... Like, you can counter this, but the, the, the drawing and the gaining life is a cast trigger, so... Oh, there's going to Sphinx's Rev here? Oh, wow. I feel real dumb about having... Oh, it's Explosion Expansion. Sure. That's fine. Having Mind Slaver up is pretty good. Have you ever tried... I don't even know what that is. So no. No, I have not. Gotta go get a haircut, so I'll catch you nerds later. Good luck with your haircut. Tell them it's Mike's birthday. You might get a discount. Yeah. Every, every barbershop knows me. It's the old Mike haircut discount. Yeah, that's a good idea. Solid strategy. A bold strategy, Cotton. Is that your name? Yeah. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Look at this little guy. Hmm. Sure. Guess we're taking four. Hey, do you know do you know do you know Mike from Frank's stream? Yeah, it's his birthday today. Can I get a discount? Uh no. Oh, that's too bad. Can I just draw Inferno Titan? So I can Inferno Titan. Kill their three three. Steal their turn. Steal their turn. So one, two, three, four. Am I more worried about this? I don't know. Well, what's nice about the other guys, you can attack us on purpose and then make him discard his best card. I don't want to go to two though. Why not? Because they're playing a red deck. <laughs> oh. Boros Signet. Oh, this is nice. What are you going to draw here, Chief? Oh, a land. All right. Hmm. I guess we're just going to play Revel Arc here. <coughs> and by that, I mean evoke it. And I mean get nothing back. 
Uh, does Kiki Jiki do anything? We could get back their Kiki Jiki. Copy this guy. No, that doesn't do anything. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cast with Evoke. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, okay. Um, I will choose none. Goodbye. Play this. I want to play your things because I don't want you to have things in hand to discard to the looter. Um, yeah, I don't really care about that. All right, let's see if Sheldock is all it's cracked up to be. I don't think it is with the date with the Thief of Sanity. However, we're not drawing any of those, so I guess it's not terrible. But it's still going to be like eh, a couple turns before we actually get to. This guy just being able to attack every turn is pretty brutal, but. What are you going to do? Well, I guess we're going to take one and they get to see two cards when we're at two. Not ideal. I mean, they literally had to draw Flame Slash off of... Like, this is the only one mana removal spell we've seen. If they drew any two mana removal spell when they Flame Slashed our Hostage Taker, we would have been able to uh, Spell Pierce it. Instead, we're, like, sitting here with Spell Pierce in our hand, which is pretty unfortunate. All right, well, let's see what happens. Hey, Michael. Gonna shell Dark Isle today. Is that a good song? No. Yeah, you do. Don't lie. You ain't gotta lie, Craig. All right, well, they've pitched two lands. Do you have a way to deal me one point of damage? It's your boy. That saves us. It does goodbye us a turn. It does a goodbye us a turn. That's what I heard you say. That's basically what I said. It does a goodbye us a turn. If they have a burn spell, they had like there's no reason to be. I see. A little spell swell. How nice. It's like the perfect card. That's actually unbelievable. <sighs> yeah, we did. We ain't dead. Let's one, two, three, four. Scarab got off the top would be pretty nuts. I, I'm pretty sure the spell pierce is probably dead, but... Alright. Keep digging. One, two, three, four, five... One, two. Now we don't have enough for it. That's sad. Pretty sure we're dead here. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're dead here. Um, 
So one, two, three, four, five, and then we only have two. Yeah, and we'd have to kill ourselves to do it. Well, let's... What was the next card? Let's see what the next card was. Nope. Nope. All right. Well. I wonder if damnation's good here. All the creatures are pretty, pretty, pretty mean. Inquisition could be good. I'm just gonna keep bringing in Inquisition, I guess. Oh, Emrakul would have been sick there. Emrakul. Miracle, yeah. Whatever. I'm just gonna do this. I don't care. Hey, what do you know? It's birthday, Mike. Birthday, Michael. Also, that thing looks really weird. This? Yeah. This the jellyfish hydra beast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a hell of a name too. What is this thing? This thing is really terrifying. So are you? Yeah, that's true. Activated abilities of creatures you control cost up to two less to activate. This effect can't reduce the amount of mana and ability costs to activate to less than one mana. The next time a creature you control activates Adept this turn, it uses Adept as if it... What? Can I get an English translation for this? The next time a creature you control activates Adept... Activates Adapt this turn... It uses Adapt as if it has no plus... Oh, that's weird. That's a really... That's a really obscure card. I don't like it when, when cards self-reference the, uh, the the narrow abilities that are on in their set. Oh, wow. This hand literally barely changed except for the island. Yep, this is going to be a sweet loss. Uh, maybe not. I'm actually going to keep this on top. Wow, this actually was a pretty decent five-card hand. We can't daze yet, but, you know. I mean, we can cast it. But we can next turn we get to play Thief of Sanity, which is pretty nuts. Turn two Thief is pretty insane. I mean, if they have... <sighs> flame Slash. Yeah, if they have Flame Slash, it's stupid. I mean, it's the one card we saw, so... I actually didn't see another card that deals with it. Lucky, 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 lucky. Yep. Cool. <laughs> Might as well be your MVP. Literally the most valuable card in your deck. It killed Hostage Taker exactly when you needed to. Uh, for the for one mana instead of two, and uh, you had it exactly on turn two to kill the uh, thief of sanity. Seems good. Seems good. I just want to connect with this once. Also, in the other last game, they actually had to draw literal flash spell queller. Uh, flash flyer with three toughness in order to deal with Thief of Sanity and still have enough to kill us. So that's, that's good times. Give me an island. It's not an island. I don't know why you would do this to me. I'm just going to pass. Sometimes you gotta daze when you when you have to. Oh my god, really? Now I'm just gonna vindicate this. Can I can you add a white? That'd be great if you could do that. No, oh my god. Signets are just miserable. Actually, maybe I just go to your second blue. No, I'm getting rid of this. Boy, I would sure like to have a a second blue here so I can true name Nemesis. I feel like that's good. Maybe. Hey, it's okay. I'm going to 
to steal that. Let me draw an ancient tomb so I can hostage take your signet and then play it. One, two, three, four. You know what? No guts, no glory. I didn't see any three mana counter spells, but they only had 12 cards left in their deck, so we saw most of their deck. Take the soap bar. Take the Irish Spring. Nailed it. So next up we can go Soul Ring, cast this, this into this, into this for True Name. You guys didn't know we were playing Land Destruction. Apparently. Apparently. <laughs> really? What? So how are you going to be? How am I, how am I going to be? How's it going to be? We're basically... Oh, I see. You're just going to time walk in for no value. Just so you can play Inferno Titan and kill this. Hmm. Well, that's fascinating. All right. This is actually very good. Owned by Scrizzy. Thank you. Noah, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Six months sub on Mike's birthday, no less. It's the It's the most wonderful time of Mike's year. It's definitely not. There are Mike's jingle belling and jing jingle elling and Mike is right here it's the most wonderful mic of the year I feel like we're actually in good shape and I don't understand it <laughs> I'm actually surprised by it I mean they're just going to go land in front of Titan as soon as they can I think that's what that time walk was about they were trying to hit 6 so they can in front of Titan and kill this before we got to do a thing but um Fascinating. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six mana. I don't have an answer for that guy. If you just want to, like, untap and windmill slam something, I'd understand. I mean, if they untap, go pester might. Like, it's just... We dead, so... Just gotta hope you don't have it, I guess, in your four cards. They could also go Zealous Conscripts, so let's just see if we're dead here. They're literally like, here, we got, you gotta have it. And now I don't, so it's the end. It's the worst wonderful time of the year. They're gonna play their dude and then that's gonna kill us. They're taking their... Why, why slow roll it? Oh my god. Just play it, dude. God, it's so cringy. If Mike is the most wonderful time of the year, that means he is a unit of measurement for time. Therefore, he's part of a day. Therefore, he's a chicken Sunday because every day is chicken. I think that all that that's pretty accurate. Mike, you should try smashing when your hands fall off. What? Shut up. I didn't understand. Shut up. I didn't understand. I got real confused. Like, we have literally... We had one one island up, right? Like, there's only... Literally one card I could play. We've already, you've already seen Days. So there's literally one Spell Pierce is the only thing. I could Ancestral Recall, uh, which wouldn't do much. If I have Force of Will, you're going to get forced anyway. Like, it's not going to... You can't play around it. So just Windmill Slam the Pestermite, like you know you're going to do. And let's move on. Matchmaking failed. The the Mike the Mike Bartholomew Tinder story. Wow. Got him. I'll keep this. It's got a soul ring. That's all I need. Wow, 
Watch, we're going to draw Hypnotic Spectre off the top, and then we're going to feel real bad about leaving with this island. I feel better about leaving with the island. Oh, Jace just 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 dropped right on the right on the B field. It's going to be these two versus Vindicate. I guarantee it. Hmm. I think you just take Vindicate, you right? Really? Got Shell Shelly boy. Yeah, we're nowhere close to activating it though. Aren't we though? <clears throat> no. Yeah, you might be right. I thought Mike has his dating profile on Pretender. Doc. <laughs> wow. Oh, good times. Good times. One, two. So we just play. We just get to play Grave Titan next turn, turn four. That don't even seem right. Yes, Horing's a very fair card. It's not. So that wasn't Mike I was messaging on Grinder. No, it probably still was. Don't get it twisted. For the name of your band? Yeah, don't get it twisted. I guess we're real. They don't. They have no pressure. I want to draw some more cards. Oh, this is where they give me two lands and a Veraska's Contempt. Mm. Joke's on you. I'm just taking the the one for ones oh wow yeah two cards is just aces brusky so they could have days they could have if we play this we get to go one two three five six keep one up is it worth playing around f days I don't know you know I mean? I feel like your body's slowly exploding over here it always is huh How's that working out for you? Pretty good. Is it working out good? Yeah. It's good to hear. Good to hear. We could also be representing a force spike. You're just going to have like stupid mana drain or something? You're a stupid... Oh my god, mana drain would be such a beating. That's fine. I accept your stupid remand. I accept your stupid reband. Thunair, what's going on, buddy? It's Raman, then. Is that, what's that from? Nothing, I just said it. <laughs> no, I was, just, I was doing a meme on the It's Trees and Then. Is that a meme? Mm-hmm. Is that from Star Wars? It's from Star yeah. Wars. They're all from Star Wars. That's my That's my secret. I'm all from Star Wars. That's my secret. I'm all from Star Wars. Michael. Shut up. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine mana. Ten with one card type in the grave. So we're only three away from this dude. Two away if we Jace. One away if we him to Torok as well. It's the most wonderful mic of the year. Let's do one of these jobbies. Oh, we've got a tendrils and a seething song. Which leads me to believe... White, black... Are you doing okay, man? Don't worry about me. But I am worried about you. But I am. So we have two card types now. Uh, so this costs 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, we're so close. He needs a birthday nap. He does need a birthday nap. I always need a birthday nap. Wakes up at 2. Back in bed by 3.30. Sounds about right. He'll probably go get a coffee after this. That's his MO. I might. Oh, I think they're going to go off here. Wait, what just happened? Pyretic Ritual and Cabal Ritual? Sure. Cabali, Wally, Jolly. Sure. Happy birthday, Mr. President. You're the president? I wish. President of the 
Oh, Yogmoss will. I'm not saying I would be oh, a nice. good president. I'm just saying I think I could do better than our current one. A free chicken for every Sunday. That would be my first my first executive order. They literally just won because they had Yog Moss Will and And we don't have a blue up. Doesn't matter, I guess. Why aren't they just winning? I don't understand. We have colorless mana. Inquisition. Spell color seems good. Do 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 take out Verasco's contempt and Necrotal. Those don't seem great here. Puppeteer click also not great. Dark petition could be better. I would run in the twenty twenty election, but uh not old enough, so That's the only thing stopping him. Yep. He's got the the campaign financing down. I will play first. <sighs> this hand's pretty bad. <coughs> Sounds good. Keep bottom. Emrakul one time. God, I want all of these. I would just rather draw these two. Oh, God. Probably Vindicate? What does Vindicate do against the, against the Storm deck? I don't know what you did right there. That was me conceding the point. Okay. I checked. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it's, it's either Thief or him to Torok. I'm not sure which. Probably him to Torok. It just hits two relevant pieces, I guess. I have three things we can do on turn two. Did your stream title still say my birthday? Vintage Q on Mike's birthday. Oh my god. It's your birthday. <sighs> it's your birthday. We're gonna party like it's your birthday. I should have never showed up. But you did show up. It was because a mistake. it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Michael. Mm. It's your birthday every day. Oh, a remand. How aggressive. And they didn't even keep their remand up. Do I just get to play Jace here? That seems good, right? Gonna party like it's your birthday. Oh! I'll take whatever pile of two you give me. Please, yes, please. <sighs> Don't care about hostage taker when your only creature is thing in the ice. I'll just bounce it, my dude. More like thing in the mice. More like mice in the thing. You should have never showed up when you had the chance, Michael. <laughs> Pretty good. Wow, that's a that's a that's a quality X Men meme right there. Oh, frantic search. We're gonna frantic search like it's your birthday. <laughs> so apparently, Kerwin is sending me a package from his travels. So that's pretty hilarious. Oh man. Mike's paranoid about mice because of his increasing rat debt. Uh, mice and rat are, are rats are two different creatures. Yeah, how dare you? That's really micest. I guess all mice look the same to you. Oh, I guess they're just going to win? Are you just going to win right here? Is this your... I don't think you can win, right? Oh, all right, cool. You're just going to get rid of my whole hand. That was it. That was your big... That was your big thing. Hmm. Well, well, we're real close to playing this now, ain't, ain't we? Let's 
So one, two, three, four, five, six mana. I like that. Amoeba, amoeba, amoeba. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, having a mana cut Mystic Confluence and Spell Pierce here is pretty insane. Amoeba? What are you saying right now? Amoeba. Man, shut up. You shut up. <laughs> you shut up. I'll fight you. I ain't even fighting anybody. Fight you in the screets. Really? The scrimps. The scrimpy screets? Mm hmm. You got it. Just random cabal ritual. I'm gonna party like it's my birthday. Yes, that was adolescence. Wow. That I was singing. Wow. <clears throat> sure. You can have this too. Put it on the little tippity top. Tantrum, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Or the, or the sub. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. On Mike's holy day. Holy day. Oh wow. That's that's your big that's your big move. That's your big finish. No. Nah. Let's see where they go with this guy. <laughs> they have no mana left. Are they attacking our face or Jace? It's gotta be Jace, right? Yeah, so we're just gonna confluence this. Cook, 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 cast. J -j 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 Draw two. We have five card types in the graveyard, so we just get to steal their turn, right? So eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're one away. One away. One away train never coming back. One away on a one way twack. Twack? Yeah, it's one away. Twack. It's a one away twain. <laughs> Someone punch you in the mouth or something? Is something wrong with your mouth? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. This costs two, this costs three, and then we're one shy of doing all the things. Let's just reveal and see what we hit. Oh, Mind Slaver. We have a Mind Slaver and an Emrakul? Good lord. I didn't even know we had Dark Petition on our deck. We boarded it in because they're playing Storm, so a lot of our Necrotals and things are pretty terrible. No, I don't remember us drafting it, though. Oh. Oh, well then. Do we have a creature in the graveyard? We do. Dark Petition can net us something. What do we even search for with the Dark Petition? I'll choose this one. We can also hem them. We can hem them, which I'm probably going to do. But I just want to figure out which is the better play here. Like, if they if they have Yogwill Yog in hand, it's pretty stupid. We can't play a land in Emrakul. We don't have enough. We already did play a land, which is why we don't have enough. Why would you time spiral after a vampiric tutor? Actually, that's hilarious. I didn't even realize that. My god. My god. My god. So, what we can do is. So, we go one, two, three, four, five. We get three mana off of this, and then we can play, activate this, and play True Name, maybe? I don't think so. That needs four blue. I guess we do have four blue. Activate one, two. So we, let's see how this looks. So one, two, three. Four. One, two, three. No, because we're going to have three, three black floating. Yeah, that's not great. All right. We're trying to figure this out. It's hard. It's hard to figure out all this mana. We can hippie in true name, but I'm probably just gonna shell dock isle them because I really don't want them to uh God 
Gonti and Island. Ugh, ugh, gross. Uh, we play land. I'm pretty sure we're actually just going to play Scarab God here. Is that better than Hippie? I don't know. One, two. Nope, not that one. Three, four. Let's go this guy. Dark Petition. Uh, oh, I actually like getting days here. No, not really. That doesn't seem great. We could just get Mind Slaver. Spell Queller also seems pretty good here. I'm just going to get the Spell Queller and we'll just play Hypnotic Spectre. And we're just hoping they don't have... Yogwell. Yogwell. If they have Yogwell, it's probably just game. Land. I imagine they tutor for Yogwell, and it's ironic that the Time Spiral didn't resolve because now they just get to draw Yogwell. But. And. There wasn't really much we could do about it. Like, if we shell dock, we could shell dock all during, like, their draw step and try to hit the Yogwell. Ritual for five. Ceiling Song for five more. Eight mana. Dark Petition. Once you get tendrils. I mean, Day's just not going to do anything. Like, Day's is just going to be like, oh, cool. Pay one more for your, your Yogg Will. Just doesn't do much. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. If you guys want to supply your own stipulation, please do so. You can find a link. Not a link, but you can find out how to do it in my Twitch profile in my YouTube description. Um, yeah. Check me out on Patreon and Twitch. That was pretty disappointing. Uh, could have necromancied Gonti. That's actually a good point. Yeah, that would have actually changed the game. That's a good point. There's a lot of lines. Like, there's a lot of things to do. There's a lot of things to play around. So. Unfortunately, that is hindsight, though. I also felt like our deck was better than that. Agreed. Especially with Mox, Soul Ring, Ancient Tomb. Our deck seemed great, but... Um, sometimes, even when you play Storm Terribly and Vampiric Tutor into... Uh, into Time Spiral, you still get still get got. I mean, we just didn't see the line. We didn't see Necromancy into Gonti to uh, eat one of their cards. We just played Hypnotic Spectre instead. But, yeah. Actually, do we board out the Necromancy? We might have boarded out the Necromancy in that game. Hard to say. Nope, it's right in our hand. Yeah, so we could have actually searched for Necromancy with Dark Petition and then grabbed the Gonti. Which would have hit one of the top four cards. But, I mean, also they have to just have Yogwill. God, Yogmoss Will is such a stupid card. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out at MeUndies.com slash Frank You'll get 15% off and free shipping and free returns. And I will see you guys next time.